In Buffalo, New York, caught on camera. Images showing a 75-year-old man pushed back by police on Thursday. Martin Gugino's head hitting the ground so hard, stopping some officers in their tracks while others kept going as he lay bleeding in front of City Hall. Now, two officers have been suspended without pay. It should have been avoided. It was not. New York's governor also questioned the officers' actions. And it disturbs uh, your basic sense of decency and humanity. Uh, why? Why? Why was that necessary? But objecting to the suspensions, all 57 members of the Buffalo Emergency Response Team have resigned. They remain on the police force, but not in the special unit created to manage large crowds. New York City's police department now disciplining two of their own caught on video. One officer seen pushing a woman to the ground a week ago. Last Saturday, a different video shows a police officer pulling down a man's mask and pepper spraying him in the face. Both officers have been suspended without pay. And another violent arrest three months ago in Tacoma, Washington. Oh my God, that looks so scary. Witness video released just this week shows 33-year-old Manuel Ellis on the ground. He was later pronounced dead. This week, his death ruled a homicide. A Tacoma police spokesman says Ellis assaulted an officer that night. Today, the four officers involved have been suspended. The Ellis family is wondering why it took a video to get officials to act. We want to see justice for my son.